This is our eighth uh, holy convocation. Eight already? Yes, sir. So I gotta remember when you did the first one. What yes. were you at when you did the first uh, one? We were in Rocky Mountain. He was here in Rocky Mountain. Uh, That's where uh, I moved. Yeah. Eighth holy convocation. <laughs> yes. Um, when, before we go on, we go into with the guests. For those of you who are not familiar with the holy convocation, please let them know what is the holy convocation consists of. Wow. In the Bible, you know. Uh, Holy Convocation was a religious practice amongst believers. Uh, and that's something that a lot of people don't necessarily understand, unlike outreach and revival and different things that we have that are for uh, people to get saved or get converted or be strengthened. The Holy Convocation is a time of uh, high celebration for the saints of God, oh. those that are believers, yeah. yes. okay. those right. that are saved. So this is uh, our coming together. We lift offerings, um, whether it be praise or worship right. or financial, right. uh, and we prepare in celebration. 
I'm about to say, y'all do that all the time, though. So yeah. I mean, now, <laughs> now, sometimes we do. Every day is a celebration with me. Right. Absolutely. But biblically, um, it was a time where the people set aside uh, certain offerings in certain amounts. The Bible talks about the sapphire offering and the different offerings that they had to give during their time of holy convocation. In the biblical practice, it was seven days. Um, now I'm doing mine in four, praise God. Praise so God, God going to do it all in four days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so we don't do it in seven. In, in the biblical time, um, shout out to Lucinda Moore. Yeah. Um, we normally do it, uh, which was with us last year in our holy convocation. But we normally do it seven days. Um, but this year we're going to do it four days. Right. And we're going to experience heaven on earth. And I see each year you take it up a notch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, it's going higher and higher. Higher and higher. Look, you reach way down and pull up the young lady, uh, Miss Prophet <laughs> Tiffany Andrew. God. On Sunday bed. Yes. What's going on, Miss? I'm Andrew? good. I'm good. I'm well. How are you? Look, look. You know everybody waiting for you to sing, right? They don't, they don't want to <laughs> sing. Let's say, what you going to sing? Oh, you gonna man. Sing? Oh, man. You were created to sing. Right? <laughs> I'm okay. humble. That's one of the gifts that God has given me, singing. It is actually my first love, my first passion. Um, singing helped me get through a lot of rough times in my life. Uh, there were moments where I didn't feel like I was good at anything except for singing. Um, and so I learned to develop that gift once I realized that I was good at it. Hold on now. How did you, how did you realize that you're good? Is it well, validation or... <laughs> No, well, it is part, validation is part of it, but uh, I had a crazy childhood. Um, my life, childhood started out great from years one to twelve. Uh, at the age of thirteen, I lost my mother. Oh, my wow. mother wow. was um, uh, the choir director of all the choirs in uh, the Baptist church that we attended. I started out Baptist, and all right, uh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Started shout out, out to all the Baptists. To the Baptist. Well, Baptist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I started out Baptist, but my mother used to drag me to every choir rehearsal. Um, the mass choir, the men's choir, the women's choir, the children's really? choir, yeah. the oh, teenage wow. choir. So we was always in church, sitting there, and I would listen. And so one day, I started singing, and my mother said, I want you to sing at the church. And I said, oh, no, Mommy, I just sing around the house. And um, so I realized then that I had a gift, and my mother uh, honed in on the gift. And for the years that she could um, before her health faded. And um, it was one of the things that took me through my, my teenage years, which was, which was a little rough. And I say this, when you are gifted, you'll know that you're gifted because the thing that comes easy to you is hard to everybody else. Yeah, you'd be like, why you can't get that note? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, somebody always oh, don't know oh, who. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and so that's how I realized I was gifted, and then the anointing comes through suffering, and so. Mm, so you know a little bit about that. Right? Be, yeah, after you suffered a while, gotcha. then He shall restore you, establish you, and settle you. Yes. And so I'm, I'm just grateful um, to be able to be a witness now and understand my purpose, and so um, that's how singing came about. So you like a, what they call a triple threat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But oh, she bad now. <laughs> how did y'all meet the person? Um, well, uh, other than Sunday's <laughs> best. Yes. Yeah. 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 Literally. <laughs> no. Uh, other, I'm going to be honest, though. When I saw her on Sunday best, um, like um, Prophetess Natakia said, um, when I saw her on Sunday best, I wasn't even watching the season. Okay, because <laughs> after uh, after the Andrew one, I was like, man, ain't no need to watch no Sunday best. Right, but right. then here comes Tiffany Andrews, <laughs> and so my sons and daughters was like, look, Chief, you gotta watch. It's this girl, it's this lady on Sunday best, and she is terrible. So I got up there. We had church. I came home and I seen her on um, seen her on the TV. I was actually at um, Prophetess Anderson's house. We were watching her on TV, and um, me and my son were talking. And I said to my son, I said, one day I'm going to meet her. Had no really? idea. Oh, Had no idea. Yeah. Right? Oh, yes. Had no idea um, that I would uh, meet her and even get to know her on a personal level. Um, but we met through the ambassador 
Shout out to yes. Dr. Ambassador yes. Yeah. 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 yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah. We met through um, through Ambassador Edna, which is a spiritual mother to both of us. Absolutely. And um, she said to me, Ambassador said, um, I got a feeling that you and Tiffany Andrews, <laughs> you know how she talk. Know, right? She talk. says, uh, you and Tiffany are yeah, going right. to yeah. hit it off. <laughs> and so, uh, she, you yeah. know how she talks. So she going to get me. So um, she did that and she put us in, um, she said, I want you to come in my office and get to meet Tiffany. And so I did. And she spoke a very prophetic word into my life. And so a lot of people don't know that um, she's not just used with singing. That is the start of it. But her prophetic, laying hands, prophesying miracles, fivefold flows really? through Tiffany Andrews, yes. Oh. And a lot of people don't know that. But um, Sister Girl is bad. And she asked me a question. She said, can I put my hand in your belly? I already knew it was about to go down. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And so she prophesied and laid hands on me and released a profound word. And we've been talking ever since. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Yes, it was concerning doors and to um, warn me to protect what I have because a lot of people don't carry what I have. We saw it in the um, mm -hmm. Mother Boyds and the Nathan Simmons and right, right, Dr. Right. Stacks, and, right. but we, we don't see it a whole lot now. And um, the word was make sure that you are careful of connections where you're going. Bigger doors are coming, but you're going to be tested. Your, she actually prophesied your connection is going to be tested, which we're in that day now. Oh, wow. Your connection will be tested. And you have to stand the test of time. She said people are going to try to separate you from your inheritance. I knew exactly what she meant you and what she was talking about. Yeah. And every word of it has come to pass. Every word of it. Since then, I have uh, added on another network. People originally saw me on the word network, but mm -hmm. I've been added to a second network mm -hmm. and uh, possibly a third one. Thank you, Jesus. Which we'll come back with that. So, okay. All right, yes. Yeah. Very spot on. She's right. spot on now. Thank you, Jesus. That's good stuff. That's good stuff right there. So, are you going to be hosting uh, convocation? Are you going to have a night as well? Yes. Um, my night is the uh, Sunday night. Most times okay. in convocations. The presiding prelate closes out that Sunday. Okay. So I close out on that Sunday, but Prophetess Andrews is going to open us up tomorrow night. Are we prophesying, Prophetess Andrews? <laughs> Huh? We're going to give a word from the Lord. Oh, yeah. Whatever Lord. God say, She's free to whatever do. God moves, that's what we're going to do. Oh, so yes. you're going to do a full hour or you just don't know what's, what's going to take whatever place? God you, don't know, you, don't know, right? you don't know. Let me tell you. You don't know what's going to take place. So you just going to give a free quote. Like, yes, like, absolutely. That's, that's what we do. And I, I, don't, I don't understand why, you know, pastors invite you to church mm -hmm. or to preach at their church and then they want to limit what you do or how you do it. You see what I'm saying? I want to uh, let the woman, I've told her this behind closed doors, mm -hmm. she's free to flow. You know, ain't nobody going to stop her from prophesying or laying hands. This is holy convocation. It's the strengthening of the saints. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need. So she's going to be released to do what she needs to do. You heard it. You got it. You I'm got excited. It. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about what to expect on that night as well. Um, okay. You got a lot of things going on. What, yes, uh, Holy Convocation to those that are watching, those that are listening, is September the 17th through the 20th, okay? Mm -hmm. We will be in the great city of Greenville, North Carolina. Greenville. Greenville, North Carolina. Y'all going to have that city, Ragan, I'm telling Greenville. you, I'm telling you, great things happen. God lives in Greenville, North What's Carolina. That? And so I'm expecting um, an amazing move of God. And uh, as I stated, this auspicious woman of God on September the 17th, Prophetess Tiffany Andrews is going to be opening.